G'day. Welcome to Addiction's Greenscale Blight Walkthrough. Infiltrator Jolin is the second of five bosses in this raid dungeon. This fascinating video illustrates our strategy for this encounter. Addiction's recommended raid composition consists of one main tank for the Infiltrator himself and at most three healers. High DPS is essential for this encounter. All DPS classes should optimize for 25 second burst damage. Upon starting the encounter, the entire raid must move within the four pillars. The main tank drags the infiltrator around in continuous motion to avoid being hit by explosive bombs. Every 25% of the infiltrator's health, the raid must DPS down a devastating bomb, or be completely destroyed. The final phase shrinks the playfield even more, forcing players to use careful positioning to avoid death. Colliding with any yellow wisp during this encounter will likely result in death. Upon starting the encounter, the bosses continuously move throughout the safe area within the four pillars. All players should avoid explosive bombs. These bombs should be triggered by pets or a designated individual. At 25% intervals, beginning at 75%, Infiltrator John will shift to the center of the room, spawn a devastating bomb, and vanish. All DPS must switch to these devastating bombs immediately and destroy them before they detonate after 25 seconds. If the bomb detonates, your entire raid will be killed. The two subsequent infiltrator phases are identical to the first phase of the encounter, with the addition of blinding bombs thrown by the infantry. The spawning of blinding bombs will be preceded by a center screen message. Blinding bombs appear as sparkling green wisps that move around the playfield. In order to avoid being blinded, you must face your character away from these bombs. The number of blinding bombs spawned increases by one with each infiltrator phase. The final infiltrator phase is the most difficult and complex. In this phase, small whips spawn and periodically weave in and out, confining the safe zone to a smaller area. Raid members are now restricted to small areas near the four pillars and the central safe zone. Ranged characters can position themselves at one of the four pillars so they are not forced to move with the rest of the room. It is important for everyone to pay extra attention to blinding bombs during this phase because you will likely be feared into wisp or bombs and may die if you do not. In order to reduce the chance of being knocked by a bomb into a wisp, all melee in the central safe zone should stack up on and avoid explosive bombs with the tank. Stacking up ensures that bombs spawned in the center will be on top of each other and are easily avoidable. It is the tank's responsibility to avoid moving into the wisp area, as DPS will be focused on stacking up. You now have all the tools you need to succeed. Good luck.